What's going on, everyone? So the Los Angeles Lakers drafted Bronny James as expected. Um, look, I'm totally okay with this pick. Talked about this heavily. Once you get to 55, right? Like, how many guys are going to be that much better than Bronny James? You're talking about guys that are most likely anywhere from basically undrafted to not even getting picked up and going to be playing overseas, right? At 55, you're hoping and praying that you can find somebody that you can develop into even just like a roster spot, let alone an actual rotation guy, right? And I do think Bronny does bring multiple skill sets to the table, right? He already has NBA level defense. He's got insane athleticism. He's got his dad's like IQ playmaking ability, right? He's very raw. He's going to need development, right? This isn't going to be a guy that day one is coming in and is going to be a, a huge component. Now, I do think it's very possible he gets some play time, right? LeBron and him are probably going to share the court on occasion, but he is going to be a development guy, in my opinion. And I do believe that the Lakers are the best place for that development. Now, look, Lakers got the help now pick, right? With the 17th pick, they were able to get Dalton Connect. And that's the guy that's going to be able to immediately come in and make an impact and be a potential rotation piece right out the gate. Right? He brings a very needed skill set shooting ability, his ability to put the ball on the deck and get to the basket, ability to basically be a three-level scorer in college should hopefully translate to the NBA. He's got good athleticism, good agility, good everything, right? The Lakers got their, hey, let's get somebody now pick. Anybody that the Lakers got in the second round, more likely than not, was going to be a development guy, was more likely than not going to be a piece that they were going to spend the next, you know, two, three years really working hard to grow and develop. So the fact that they drafted Bronny James, I'm fine with that, right? If Bronny James can just be a Avery Bradley or George Hill type player, I'm not talking about elite. I'm, not, I'm talking about a, just like a quality 3 and D guard that you can throw as a point of attack, knock down the, the three, initiate the offense, be able to play on ball, be able to play off ball, right? Look, LeBron gets his dream. LeBron isn't going anywhere now. LeBron's staying with the Lakers. That's what this means, right? And now he gets to ride into the sunset with his son. But also, LeBron's going to do everything in his power to make Bronny the best player possible. I think the best place for Bronny to land was with the Lakers because he gets to play with his dad, right? Any team that he goes to, of course, he's going to have training. There's going to be training staff. You know, he's going to get attached to a vet. Right? The organization's going to want him to be and have some level of success. But there's only they also have to do that with multiple other guys. And they also have to, you know, and how much is a vet really going to be working with? You know, they don't even really want to deal with the rookies most of the time. Right? They just want them to pick up their laundry and, you know, run errands for him the whole time. LeBron James, you're talking about his son. You don't think LeBron is going to do everything in his power, his resources, everything to make Bronny the best player possible? Of course he will, right? Like, again, it's his son. And it's one thing when you're working out together kind of in passing or in the offseason or, you know, in spare time. It's another thing when you're in the same line of work on the same exact team, using the same training, the, the same weight room, the same basketball court, same dietricians, the same everything, right? It's different when you get to actually work out together and your only job is to basically 16 hours a day work out. Bronny will be able to just basically glue himself to his dad for the next, you know, two, three years or however long LeBron sticks around. And look at like what LeBron's been able to do with like Rui in an off season. Imagine what LeBron can do with the time that he puts into Bronny over the next few years. Again, not everyone has to be a superstar. You know, when you're talking about this late in the draft, you're hoping to just get, can you get a, a fringe rotation piece, right? Like you're, you're praying. Most of the time, guys this late are out of the league in a year or two, right? Where Bronny, if they can just turn Bronny into, if he could just be our Gabe Vincent replacement in the next few years. I mean, we were all stoked that Gabe Vincent got picked up by the Lakers because he was a 3 and D guard that could be a point of attack and, you know, shoot with the and pick it up in the playoffs, right? Like, if Bronny can do that, 
then like that's perfect, especially with the fifty fifth pick. If he's, he's he's if he's a guy that can be, you know, best case scenario, you know, I think, you know, you, you, if you could get like a, you know, a Derek White out of him, right, where he could just he's just you know one of the premier three and D style guards can defend multiple positions, can use his size and his athleticism. I mean, he's, he's undersized for a guard, but he's got good strength like his dad. Right? He's got the foot speed and athleticism. Like, if he can just be that, that would be, again, a home, right? That would be grand slam, right? And then if he could, the best, best case scenario, like, is that he actually becomes a premier guard in this league, which probably unlikely, but you never know, right? Like, Look at guys like Jokic or Draymond and stuff like that who were drafted late and nobody thought were going to be anything and then all of a sudden they became something, right? But more likely than not, even if he just becomes a serviceable, if he can just be in your top eight rotation, like that's huge, right? Like if he can one day develop into your starting point guard and have him and Max Christie as like, you know, your your defensive 3 and D uh, backcourt, right? Like that would be massive. Right, like where you have two guys that can defend multiple positions, either guard spot, right? Two guys that can knock down the three ball, right? Like, again, like he doesn't have to be your best player on your team. If he's you know your fifth best player, that's huge for a fifty fifth pick. I think LeBron is going to do all that he can to make Bronny the best player possible. I also think Bronny is is very aware of where he's at right now, right? Like, to me, it's just, give him a chance. Right? Let's let's give him a shot. I don't know what he's going to be. He could end up being a bust. LeBron could leave in two, three years, and the Lakers go, all right, Bronny, good luck to you. Best of luck. It's always a possibility. But I don't want that to happen. Because, again, if he's good, then the Lakers are probably going to be good. If in a year or two he can become a, a real rotation piece then guess what? That's great for the Lakers. That's going to put the Lakers in great position for the future, right? So to me, it's like, I, I want to be positive. I want to believe in the upside, right? Just like I would anyone else. It's not just because he's brawny. It's literally, I would feel the same way about anybody we drafted in the second round pick or in the second round, right? Because again, you want to see these types of guys. I mean, Austin Reeves, when undrafted, yes, he could have been drafted, but he wanted to go to the Lakers, but he wasn't going to be drafted in the first or even early second round. He was being looked at around where Bronny was picked up. And guess what happened? Austin Reeves is, is you know, emerged and is, you know, one of the better players on the Lakers. I, you know, I was disappointed like everybody with this past season, but still, it wasn't like he was a troll. I mean, he still, if he, if he could have shot the ball better, he would have been a 20-point-a-game guy, right? So... Again, if he can just be serviceable, I'm fine with that. I don't necessarily need him to be a superstar. If he can, that'd be beautiful. You know, if in three to five years he can develop into a legit two-way you know, 24 and 8 guy or something like that, then, you know, that'd be huge. That'd be massive. But realistically, I think we need to have real expectations. And again, can he just be... Can he just be our future Gabe Vincent, right? Knock down the three ball, be a point of attack, you know, run the floor, get out in transition, right? Like, I'm fine with that. And I think LeBron is going to do work his tail off to make Bronny the best player possible. I think Bronny James will just glue himself to his dad for the next two, three years, and I think Bronny James is going to work his tail off. Now, he may end up having another vet or whatever just to kind of, you know, like not show favoritism or whatever. But I believe Bronny is going and LeBron are going to be glued at the hip. Everybody on that team knows exactly what the deal is, right? Like, this is also something that the Lakers have always done, right? They always appease the superstar for the next superstar, Right? How did we get LeBron? Because of what we did for Kobe in his later years. And for being honest, from a business perspective, from a player production perspective, Kobe wasn't worth that huge contract. But why did they give it to? Because it's Kobe Bryant. It's he's the Lakers. 
Right? He is he he deserved it in so many ways by everything the blood, sweat, tears, sacrifice championships that he brought to the Lakers. Right? But you know, the NBA is looked at as a cutthroat league. That wasn't a cutthroat move. That was a, that was a what are they and people were like, what are they doing? And the Lakers were terrible for six years. And then Kobe retires. Two years later, LeBron comes because of how the Lakers treated Kobe Bryant. Just like how when LeBron leaves, somebody's going to go, man, the Lakers take care of their stars, right? This is that, right? It's just instead of the the money, it's his son. And it's not, if it was the 17th pick, we'd have a problem. If it was the, you know, a top 10 pick, we'd have a problem. But 55, fine, who cares? But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Past question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you like the idea of Bronny? Uh, being on the Lakers, do you think no? They should have, you know, went with somebody else. Uh, do you think LeBron will make him the best player possible? Again, however, you feel whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos. Truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.